The Amazon River's water levels are dropping, and it's more alarming than you think. Drought and lower than average rainfall this year is making it hard to transport goods, cutting off communities that rely on river transport, and at the most basic level, forcing a lack of drinking water and food for small villages. About two thirds of the Amazon lies within Brazil. As the world's largest rainforest, it covers an area twice the size of India. Since June, the Brazilian Geological Service has reported that its rivers are expected to fall below their historic lows. In Manaus, Brazil, the Rio Negro is now 21 meters deep, down from 24 meters last year. This is spelling trouble for local industries, which are calling for dredging, that is, digging up and removing sand and debris from the bottom of the river so boats can pass in order to keep the transport routes open. Dredging is already underway in key areas like the Madeira River, where only small boats can pass right now. The Brazilian government is also planning dredging work for other major rivers. But despite these efforts, the situation is still grim. The dip in water levels is causing major travel disruptions for these communities. Barges can't reach some ports, so cargoes might need to be rerouted to southern ports like Itaki. This could lead to higher shipping costs for producers. In Puerto Velo, Rodonia State, the Madeira River's depth has fallen below 2 meters, compared to the usual 5.3 meters. This is challenging transport and hydroelectric dams in the region. Local communities are also suffering to get basic necessities, like food, because of this, especially those that live from fishing. It's drying up a lot, too much. This season is very hard for us. We live far away and it's very difficult to fish. We have to leave the canoe with a security guard and pay for it. It's very complicated for us at this time of year. The La Nina climate pattern, which involves the cooling of the Pacific sea surface temperatures along South America, hasn't had its usual effect. The waters haven't cooled as anticipated, worsening the drought and leading to less moisture being carried from the rainforest to other regions. The crisis in the Amazon highlights the urgent need for action. Of the 62 municipalities in the Amazonas, 61 are in a state of emergency. Brazil's response and international cooperation are essential to protect this critical ecosystem and those who depend on it. Deforestation is still a pressing issue across the Amazon as the rainforest plays a crucial role in maintaining water cycles. Trees release water vapor through a process called transpiration, contributing to cloud formation and rain. So when forests are cut down, less water vapor is released, reducing rainfall in the area, which can then lead to lower water levels in rivers like the Amazon. Luckily, deforestation has decreased by 22% in one year, ending on July 31st, 2023. But that final month in July showed a surge, largely due to a strike by officials at federal environment agencies. So it will take persistent momentum, which Brazil's current government is aiding in with their Deforestation Zero Pledge, to keep the level low and maintain the health of this crucial rainforest.